Hello and welcome back to the character modeling tutorial and we'll continue modeling our hair parts. So a few updates that I want to point out. Um, I couldn't again leave my hands off of um, the model while not recording and I've done a few changes so I want to point those out. Um, it's not much. All I did was... Um, what was it again? Yeah, changing the purpose of these two actually these three strands, so this one is now a bit more curved and goes further in. This one was before uh, a normal one, similar to this one. This one is going out now and has kind of uh, built a second strand that on, on little, this, let's call it second layer. <coughs> and this small strand was before this one here. Uh, I've decided to make this one um, the strand that goes over all of these. Um, so now we have some variety in there. We still want to add one more um, strand up here, but let's leave that for later. <coughs> so what I want to do next is really start with the sides and luckily you can just mirror those. Um, before that though, let's quickly fix the um, we'll have to model this part quickly. Now we can't really rely on the side view this time again because I have the feeling that that's not accurate, the position. Uh, so from the front view I'm positioning it <coughs> to wherever I think it looks good and then I'm using the bevel tool to give it this um, curvature and we can use the bevel tool again a second time to really give it <coughs> Sorry, to really give it these um, smooth edges, something like this. I mean, you can still remake those later. I might do that as well, but for now, let's leave them as they are, just for finding out how to position our strands. So we'll continue from here and extrude towards this uh, from the front view in particular you can see where the uh, it's going to the right direction not um, important is there are two things important <coughs> um, let's uh, do it differently sorry we want to start from the, the other side uh, for a certain reason because what's important is that um, the hair shows a certain amount of face below and you want to make sure that you don't accidentally have too less hair and show too much of the face and also not the other way around. So you really want to uh, make sure that you're covering the face and not, but not too much. And so that's why we're looking here a lot at the front view as well to really uh, go down far, a lot further than what you might think. And I'm actually going to move this one down as well, since it turns out that we wouldn't be able to make it if it was higher up. So with that edge, I'm really trying to connect to this part now to give the hair a direction. And you see it's a separate part, so at the moment it doesn't have anything to do with um, what we created earlier. And then let's see, from the side view we have to go about this far um, to make it to this center line and then adjust it from the side. So it's always a play between switching uh, the views and adjusting it from all the angles until it is positioned in 3D. So the approach this time is a bit different. We're going to create a big a plane that covers the entire area that we want to cover. Um, we're going to use this one below still to connect towards the center here. So it's just going to continue underneath the surface and still reach the top. 
reason for that is simply because we'll have it easier later to um, make subdivisions since we won't have troubles with uh, missing geometry and things like that. So you see we managed to connect it. Just make sure not to have intersections and things like that. But it looks good. Now one good thing is that we can mirror it because you know it's the same on both sides. So what I will do is I will select this entire area by pressing L with the mouse hovering over the part and then with P and selection separated into a new object and then we can use mirror modifier to mirror it onto the other side. And at this point you also see uh, here's another good reason why we actually continue underneath because on the other side we might have a little bit less here. I mean we're going to add another strand to fill this area but it's still a better start. So now it's all about making strands so I'm creating a few subdivisions here and moving these now up and down to give it variation. Uh, next step will be to really make those um, a bit sharper so that they really stand out. And as you might notice, uh, this is really a bit easier than what we did um, last time because here we have to really mull every strand and there um, that takes time. This time we have it a lot easier. We just have to right, it's still some, lots of work but we just have to um, create a plane that is, has the right shape and has some curvature in it basically. So as for here we want to make this trend pass behind this block because I think it's thought to be clipped onto the hair in that way. And one thing I noticed is that because we have you know this pattern up, down, up, down, up, we need at the end one more down to make sure that everything is good. So just select this and go down and if you intersect with the head you just want to move it a little bit out first. But that should do. Um, I'll also adjust the position of this block again a little bit if I'm not happy with it. And then from here you can very easily adjust everything. You can see quite a lot and how it affects the silhouette and things. And also on this side we need to go down again to really finish this part off. So the basic shapes are now actually already in place. There is not nothing that I feel is missing. Well, I, uh, except of course this uh, part here on the top where everything goes together. But we'll leave that for later. Um, what you want to do is add a couple of more loops to sharpen these. And we might actually go ahead and add those for um, everything that we want to have sharp. And you might guess that this is going to be troublesome. And it is definitely. You might be able to just use crease edges, but I don't really trust it honestly. <laughs> since there are a couple of reasons for that but yeah just I mind mean, you can use it probably if you like if you feel confident about using it just create those creases um, with the edge crease tool but I feel more confident about it this way so if you have a larger area that is wrong positioned you can again just use the proportional editing tool And sooner or later you will 
which is something like that and you can see it's it's now looking kind of consistent and fits the how we created this first part yeah so we have as it seems another intersection here you can't see it on that side but he, over here you can definitely see that it needs to be higher and now it looks good well we can't help it we need to probably just raise this one a little bit as well to give it more space below all right um looks good so far i guess it's time now to do the connection up here so let's think about a way to do it I'm going to move these backwards and then just fill them so that way we already have two loops less to care about we still have a whole bunch um, So next thing we can do to lower the amount is just do the same thing again. But we don't want to do it too much, I guess, at this point. It's already good. I guess I'll start also to just connect these. Uh, the clipping feature is quite useful at this point. Also make sure that mirrors before subdivision surface. Uh, that way you won't run into some troubles. And then connect these maybe. Or oh, that's not a good idea. I think we should have it really join in the middle. So I'm going to it maybe like this here but believe me you don't need to follow me step by step on this matter uh, this is really just a bad fix for a situation that is not really important for the model <laughs> you would definitely never see a professional do that I think I don't know it's not like I'm a professional of any kind you know I just do it as a hobby and I figured some ways of doing it, so I'm trying to teach those. But don't expect anything to. Don't expect any truth from this. I mean, as if there was such a thing, but. Um, yeah. I guess it looks alright now. We have now everything going together up here and it obviously looks not the best but we'll see at the end uh, since it's always hard to tell in the middle of the progress of how things are actually going to look like in when everything is together so there you go we have done another part of here and we're getting closer to um, more exciting things again. I still believe we have two parts at least about here. Um, we won't be able to finish this any sooner, no matter how hard we try. <laughs> but other than that, I think we're still on the right track and everything looks good so far. Um, I really can't wait to see how things will turn out later. Thank you for watching. As always, I hope you have a good day and you're not as tired as I am. <laughs> and see you next time.